Hello, I'm Andrew Colby. I'm head of 5G product management and product strategy for Gloss. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit about the Guavis 5G IQ NWDAF network function. The purpose of the network data analytics function is to provide standardized operational intelligence to other functions in the 5G core. The network data analytics function is a standardized network function defined by the 3GPP as part of the 5G standalone service-based architecture. It offers an NNWDAF service-based interface that can be accessed by any other 5G core network function as well as applications outside of the 5G core that support operations, automation, and orchestration. The network data analytics function does this by collecting data as it's being generated in the other 5G core elements and delivering these back as analytics insights to analytics consumers. The 5G IQ NW DAP is created to run natively in the AWS environment, leveraging AWS services. 5G IQ NW DAF is designed as a central module with one or more edge modules doing data collection, wrangling, and aggregation. This edge module can be co-located with the central module in an Amazon data center, or it can be distributed out to the edge of the network, providing data collection and wrangling, data reduction, and local scoring co-located with UPF and other distributed resource on Amazon outposts. These analytics insights might be one of four types. It might be a statistical request, a predictive request, Request, a current value request, or a threshold subscription. Statistical analytics relay information about past events where current value analytics convey what is happening right now. And threshold analytics responses indicate when a threshold event has been reached or crossed. Today, we'll focus on predictive analytics requests, which can provide information about future network function loads. Here we show the message flows and operations for the network function load analytics use case. It starts off with the access and mobility function making a request of the NWDAF in step one here in the diagram. Once the the request has been received, the NWDAF will check if it has all of the subscriptions for the information it needs to fulfill that request. If not, it will update or initiate the additional or new subscriptions to the NRF shown on arrow two. There may be additional information collected from the applications in the OAM layer, marked as three. As that information comes back, it's aggregated and processed by the NWDAF in step four and sent back to the analytics consumer as a response or as a notification in the case of a subscription request with ongoing responses shown in step five. In order to provide predictive analytics, the NWDAF has a machine learning algorithm. These algorithms are trained based on historic values. Now, all 5G core network functions, including the SMF of interest in this case, send regular heartbeat messages to the network repository function, the NRF. The heartbeat messages include information about the current load percentage of the network function. The 5G IQ NWDAF subscribes to the NRF for this load information, storing it in the central module for model training. We see here a clip of the stored historic values for the SMF instance, beginning David Alpha Foxtrot. To train this analytics model, we run an analytics pipeline against the historical data. For this SMF instance, beginning David Alpha Foxtrot, we see the analytics training pipeline reads 1,485 historical data points from the database. The model's now trained and can compute predictions for the future. This model predicts the SMF load every minute for the next two days, which is 2,880 predictions. These predictions are stored for quick access upon request. As the NWDAF continues to receive load data for this SMF, the 5G IQ NWDAF can compare the actual values to the predictions to identify when model retraining is needed. The prediction logic can continue to be executed as this new data arrives in order to predict out further in time. Here we see an example of an analytics consumer making an immediate request for the prediction values for the SMF instance beginning David Alva Foxtrot. The client negotiates a TLS connection and then sends an HTTP GET request. The 5G IQ NW DAF responds with HTTP 200 indicating success, along with the average and peak predicted load values for the requested period and a confidence value for the prediction. The confidence value is a function of how much history is available in the database and how well the recent data matches against the historical data against for which the model has been trained. An analytics consumer can subscribe for future notifications for these predicted values. In this example here, the analytics consumer requests a report every 60 seconds for the same SMF instance beginning David Alpha Foxtrot. The NWDAF responds with HTTP 201 indicating success and an analytics subscription ID, this one beginning 
alpha foxtrot. We can see looking into the details inside the NWDAP server that responses are sent repeatedly. Here we have four notifications sent so far for this subscription. Like the immediate request previously shown, the notification for this subscription has average and peak load values for the requested period and a confidence value for this prediction subscription 28 alpha foxtrot for this SMF, Delta Alpha Foxtrot. For more information about the 5G IQ NW DAF, please visit us at guavis.com.